Well, that's for now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start checking uh, cat dogs moves list. Ah, oh, well, that'll do it. And it's very tricky. It's very tricky. My my dad, on the other hand, can have too much potassium. Was it potassium or sodium? I don't fucking remember. Yeah. One of those. Anyway, cat dog. Let's show the uh, the move list, and we can see how broken this character is going to be. <laughs> oh. Why do I have my shit there? I don't know. But anyway, let's watch it, and then we're gonna uh, uh, see uh, random Stoimpy. So, oh man, I can't wait for this game. So October, almost here, right? And he's gonna have DLC, for what I heard. So, uh, if your character didn't make it. You know, it's still a chance. Let me raise the ball Hello a little everyone. bit. My name is Marcus from the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl Development Team. And today I'll show you that our latest enough, character, right? Cat Duck. Cat Duck is a wacky all-rounder medium-heavy character with a special mechanic that allows him to swap between cat and duck. Certain oh. attacks change depending on whether you are controlling cat or duck. First, huh. let's talk about Cat Duck's down special, Tag Team. Where's my mouse? Not only does this attack di Okay, so it is a stance character. Oh, yes. Pyra Mitra is a stance character. Correct. Interesting. And where's my remote? I need to raise the ball and I can't hear shit. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Hold on. Um. Uh, um. Uh, where is it? Uh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's my wallet. Oh, shit. Um. Hold on. Where are you, motherfucker? Ah! Well, I guess this is the ball, and then we're gonna listen to everything. Fuck. <laughs> well, tough shit. Let's do this. Heal <laughs> damage. But it also changes the stance in which cat dog is being controlled. Hold on. Do you guys see this? There's a mouse in the fucking Oh my god, it was driving me crazy. I was moving my <laughs> There's a cursor in the video. And it was driving me nuts. I'm like moving my mouse. Like what the fuck? <laughs> it's not moving. <laughs> God, wow, okay, all right, all right, it's not Nintendo Direct, that tell you what. <laughs> the all-rounder medium-heavy character with a special mechanic that allows him to swap between cat and duck. Certain attacks change depending on whether you are controlling cat or duck. I see. First, let's talk about Cat Duck's down special, Tag Team. Not only does this attack deal damage, but it also changes the stance in which Cat Duck is being controlled. The character facing forward counts as the one you're controlling, and certain attacks will change depending on who that is. Other All right, for my question is, how can you fucking tell? <laughs> yes, I get it. The one that is facing forward is the character, but visually speaking, how can you tell? Even the play, I I don't know. Even even as the player, we'll lose track of it. I, I I need something. Players may not <laughs> like, know which ah. way you're facing, but then again, do you? With that covered, let's talk about Cat Duck's light attacks. Their light neutral is, take this seriously. This attack is really just cat and dog fighting each other in a way that just happens to damage nearby enemies. Their light up is uppercut. And their light down is head whip. Cat Duck's light neutraler is Stretch. Both Head Whip and Uppercut can be used to launch your opponents in the air. And then you can do some really nice converts with Stretch that can even lead to a KO. Interesting. Their light upper is Twin Spin. 
this attack can combo into itself to rack up some good chunks of damage. The light downer is double dance. Use this to spike your enemies when they're trying to recover. That move looks so good. And finally, their light dance attack shit. is gotta chase. Let's now talk about cat dog's strong attacks. For the strong neutral, Kadok has two variants. Duck strong neutral, heavy punch. Ooh. And cat strong neutral, little punch. <laughs> Duck's heavy punch has a stronger knockback, but it's also a bit slower. Cat's little punch, on the other hand, is a bit weaker but faster. Their strong up is Tuckin's Tongue. And their strong down is Golden Hydrant. Now, let's talk about Cat Duck's strong air attacks. This character's weird, man. First, their strong neutral air is Springy Headbutt. As you can see, it works as a stronger version of their lag neutral air stretch. For their oh. strong upper, they have Duck's Fierce Flex. <laughs> and Cat's <laughs> this is a fierce fist. flex. This fucking mouse is driving me Duck's crazy. Duck's Fierce Flex is wider and shorter. While Cat's Feline Fist is longer but more precise. Yeah, that move Your is a killer, is though. Bouncy Bickering. This attack will leave Cat Duck a bit vulnerable, but the second bounce can also damage opponents on their way down. And Cat Duck's strong dash attack is Fight Cloud. The fuck? Seriously, a lot of Cat Duck's attacks are just they fighting each other. <laughs> now, for the special attacks Cat Duck's neutral special can either be. Duck's boomerang bone. <laughs> or cat's hairball. They each have their own physics and trajectories. You can use cat's hairball to They look like good projectiles, I'm not gonna fucking lie. And duck's boomerang bone to trick your opponents. <laughs> and because of duck's boomerang bone odd trajectory, you can even hit it yourself to launch it towards your opponent. Wow, that's I forgot you can hit fucking projectiles in this game. Finally, and most importantly, their taunt move. <laughs> For Cat Dog's stage, the best option was without a doubt Cat Dog's house itself. This is a medium sized stage with an uneven terrain and three platforms. And who is that little guy walking back there? Is that Winslow Oddfellow? That's that guy. Now, let's see how Cat Dog actually fights in a real match. I'm so weirded out by this character, though. The hand. The fucking hand. <laughs> this character seems very good, though. It's gonna pay off, you know, putting the time into it. It's just weird as whole hell. <clears throat> Cat Upstrong is very fucking good, though. It just, you stretch. Let's see if they use it in this match. Like, bang! <laughs> you have to taunt, it's important. Oh, get fucked! <laughs> get fucked by your own bubble. There. You know, it's a projector that rolls down the ground, so that's also pretty good. Man, but the stance mechanics is kind of fucking weird with Cat Dog because it's gonna be really hard to tell, you know, which one you're controlling. I, I mean, yes, you move forward and like, oh, I'm controlling Cat, but in the fray, in, 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 in the heat of the moment. Nice. That fucking move. So they announced they're gonna, uh, gonna try to put voices in the game. I know it's weird without voices. But then again, if you guys are gonna get it on PC, believe me, there's gonna be mods day one with the voice pack for this game. <laughs> day one. But yeah, they were talking about uh, putting voices in the game. Okay. And that's Cat Duck. 
cat dog so is for weird, man. And please look forward I'm not like playing cat future. dog, by the way. No, I'm... Uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna play... I'm gonna play... What should I call it? Uh, uh, Korra? I'm gonna play... Probably... Who else I'm gonna play? I don't know. I wanna play Korra. I wanna play... Uh, I don't know what character I wanted to play. Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> just left my brain. Oh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Maybe not Leonardo. Leonardo. First of all, Leonardo is not my favorite turtle. And he seems kind of shitty. <laughs> so, definitely Mike, uh, Mikey, though. But, uh, I don't know. April looks very fucking strong. <laughs> Alright, let's check this uh, Remnant Steam P moveset. I didn't check Patrick, though. I guess we can give Patrick a, a, a looksy, too. But, uh, let's check the moveset. Uh, I don't think they have, uh, no, Hello they haven't everyone. even My name is given Mikey the Nicolodos solo trailer the for Danny Phantom. The All-Star Brawl development team, and today I'll share with you the moveset of the wacky dynamic duo Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy <laughs> are a mix-up type Look at the horse! with a variety of attacks that deal damage in multiple directions. Yeah, the, the yeah this stage is not they legal. They are <laughs> slow with the movements <laughs> and attacks, but they more than make up for it with their heavy weights and wide area of damage. First oh. things first. Ren and Stimpy's light attacks. Yeah, whoever Ren picks Ren and Stimpy's stage place. is a bitch. Keep it together. That's the light neutral. That's their jab. <laughs> their <laughs> light up is Lick and Stump. I'm not gonna this lie, move, that Ren jab is slow downwards. as shit. Well, Stimpy deals damage upwards to the other side. This makes it useful for covering both sides when your opponent is trying to recover. Okay. Right, and right. their light down is Wild Swing. With this attack, Ren covers the upper area. And well, that's so fast! By doing a split that covers the downward side. Never the jab, just down light all the time. Let's now talk about Ren and Stimpy's air light attacks. Standing light is Ren slow and as Stimpy's shit. Light neutral air is but the down light is fast friends. as fuck. This move deals damage to the left and right, but Stimpy's side has a significantly bigger hitbox. Ren and Stimpy's light upper is Aerial Lick and Stump. Because get of Ren and Stimpy's double sided attack tendencies, you can get very creative with it by using the straight button to mix up your opponents with moves like this. Oh, so you, this character and always their light hits is either side. <laughs> Fuck, okay. Their light dash attack is Tongue Flail. Second thing, second, Ren and Stimpy's strong attacks. Ren and Stimpy's strong neutral is Watch Out. This one sort of feels <laughs> like it would hurt him more than it would hurt your opponent. If looks could kill, eh? Is four. This move has a powerful sweet spot if you manage to hit your opponent at the right time. It has. Use it with their light up, lick and stomp at low percentages <laughs> for an easy combo. What do you mean the right and time? Their strong down is... Not like distant? Is time? I was gonna say it has a Let's tipper. A no, it has a... Something else. Strong attacks. Ren and Stimpy's strong neutral air is Ariel, watch out. Their strong upper I hate is that move. Memory Jugger. Ren's hammer deals damage upwards, while Stimpy's little arms cover the sides. This character is gonna and be a bitch. It's, it's gonna hit you! Dive Bomb. Stay clear of Stimpy's buttons. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy's strong dash attack <laughs> is Beep Beep. And lo and behold, Ren and Stimpy's special attacks. Ew. Ren and Stimpy's neutral special is log. A log from Blamo. From Blamo. They throw Blamo's iconic bouncing log. This special is better than bad. It's good. Their up special is History Eraser. Stimpy presses the big red button, which creates an explosion that catapults them upwards and damages surrounding opponents. And their down special is First Part. This move makes Stimpy absorb any damage that hits him while the neutral special is held. The absurd damage can be then released in a wide and stinky area attack by pressing the down special button twice. And finally, Ren and Stimpy's stunt move. What a happy, happy, joy, joy celebration. <laughs> Their stage is called Space Madness. So he absorbs! This is a side stage with a bunch of floating side scrolling platforms. The hmm. longer you stay on a platform, the more it falls to the bottom. Oh, whoever picks the stage is a in this bitch. Wild and chaotic state. And now, whoever picks the stage is a bitch, and your mom didn't love you. 
Oh, joy. Play nice. Oh, no. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no. I hate this. Oh, no. <laughs> I, ha I hate it. Oh, God. I hate this. <laughs> This is the worst! <laughs> yes, let's switch stages. You see, they, they didn't even stick to it. They, they were like, no, fuck this. We, we gotta show the character. They literally switch stages. They just... Hold on. Who died first, though? Hold on. That's fucking ridiculous. You die first, though! <laughs> you know Ren Simpy players are gonna be fucking diving themselves into oblivion. Oh, he's gonna- Oh, I can see all these kids just butt slamming into fucking death. Oh, what a hit. <laughs> Happy joy. <laughs> So far, Cat Dog has been the one that looks fucking good as hell, though. Winner. <laughs> yes. And that's Ren yes. Thank you so much for tuning in to this character showcase. And please look forward to more. <laughs> that of winning videos. screen is the best so far. Top tier just for the winning screen. Winning screen is just top tier, man. Uh, but uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, 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 let's give that a like. And cat dog, cat dog between the two looks the best. Do they have Patrick? Because I did not check. Pa oh, it was right there. Fuck me. Right here. Let's open it up. Let's close this. Yeah, I can see people just butt slamming themselves into fucking oblivion. It's just death. Fucking dead. But, <laughs> but the victory dance, top tier. But the character kind of looks mid tier, if you ask me. Uh, I didn't see any crazy shit. As a matter of fact, he's down heavy, it's a detriment. You gonna kill yourself with that shit. Um, Alright, let's check Patrick and his suicide tendencies with his grab. We saw it in the gameplay trailer last time, right? He just grab April and just... <laughs> and they both die at the same time, so... Hey, be, everybody. Be careful. My name is Thaddeus Cruz from the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl development team. <coughs> and today, I'd like to share with you the moveset of the lovable dunce... Patrick Star. Patrick is a grappler by nature. All of his specials center around grabbing your opponent. He excels at punishing blocks and thrashing opponents against the stage to keep control of the fight. This is a good stage, Let's start actually. With I like Patrick's it. Patrick's light attacks. Patrick's light neutral is belly bump. Belly bump. His light up is snack time. I'm sorry, oh boy, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> and his light down is. Toot laser. It has two lasers. It has a fucking ass all Let's laser Let's now talk beam. about Patrick's air light attacks. Oh boy, it's 3 a.m. Patrick's light neutral air is sidekick. His light up air is aerial snack time. It's and his light down air is <laughs> down swing. You'll notice that Patrick's light attacks are very short on range. Yeah. But they make up for it by having lots of knockback. So very His strong and dash fast. attack is Star Wheel. This attack oh, hitbox boy, covers punch, almost no. all of Patrick's body, which makes it a good offensive and defensive option. Now to prove that we can make moves out of just about anything, let's check out Patrick's strong attacks. All right. Patrick's strong neutral is no. This is Patrick. <laughs> He just wants to know that he's not a crusty crab. His strong up is trophy hat. Hey, if mayonnaise can be an instrument, a trophy being a move is fair game. <coughs> the startup is somewhat slow, but very powerful if it manages Whoa. to hit. 
and his strong down is belly flop. Try juggling your opponents with his slide attacks, and then finishing it up with this move to really lock down some God serious do. damage. Next up, let's take a look at Patrick's air strong attacks. Patrick's strong neutral air is star spin. That's so good! Hey, oh my god, that's so good! I think he's a starfish. His strong up air is aerial trophy hat. And his strong down air is Cone Crash. Just right. look at that form! Use it at your own risk. You're gonna kill yourself. Patrick's strong dash is Spinning Lariat! Straight out of the bun wrestling competition. And you <laughs> have to live under a rock to not notice Patrick's special attacks. Whoa! Patrick's neutral special is Star Slam! He grabs an opponent and smashes them to the ground. Keep pressing to smash your opponent oh, up fuck. to three times. Boom, boom, boom. His up special is, I'm already a star. <laughs> he turns into a superstar, flying upwards. After activating the move, you can adjust the direction in which you Patrick can You can redirect fly. the fucking thing. Any opponents in the way will get grabbed and sent flying. And his down special is, Hug Driver. Patrick gives an unsuspecting opponent a warm hug and then proceeds to jump and slam oh, them is, to the ground. Is. And if you want to be one of those players, you can also do this. <laughs> and for his taunt move, Patrick plays a mean belly. Patrick stages the Flying Dutchman ship. This is an uneven <laughs> medium size. So you're going to be one of those. Powers. Ugh, I don't like the way the Flying Dutchman is staring at us. Damn. <laughs> and now, let's watch Patrick fool around with his moves in a real match. I like the stage. This is a very acceptable stage. I will not curse you out if you pick the stage. <clears throat> his neutral strong in the air is so good, though. It looks... Why? Why would you start both die at the same time? I hope they. I hope they, <laughs> you reset the shit. I want to see if you if who will win. Yo, this game. This motherfucker started encouraging taunting after kills, man. There's gonna be a bunch of angry kids online. <laughs> oh boy, what are you teaching these kids, man? <laughs> I love the laser at butthole. That's gotta hurt. Wake up secret hugging. <laughs> oh man. I was making a joke about Patrick's suicidal tendencies, but this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> don't do it. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. <laughs> and that's Patrick Scott. Thank you very much for tuning into this uh, video. Oh, man. And fuck please Patrick. Look to more like these in the future. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of mad that we made jokes about grapplers eating glue, but. You know, Patrick's a ga grappler. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. Well. Then. Oh no. Oh no. That is that is dumb. All right. Um. Not gonna lie. A little underwhelmed with Ren and Simpy. <coughs> Feel like we could have a little bit better stuff with uh, uh, Ren and Simpy. Ren and Simpy. There you go. He's paused at the right time. I wanted to pause it there. Um, I don't know, man, about Ren. Ren. Ren seems very mid tier, right? It doesn't have anything crazy in comparison. I mean, uh, Ren 
and Stimpy. They look very mid tier. Nothing compared to Patrick and Cat Dog. Patrick, you're gonna kill yourself. But as long as you win, I guess. Oh man. I, I don't know what to tell you about Patrick. I mean, is, is this gonna be another game where the grappler is gonna be good? Can we handle another one like that? You guys remember fucking Potenkin the first, <laughs> the last beta? I know, the, the beta before the last one. God damn. Now, Cat Dog looks solid as all hell. Cat Dog has a shit ton of range. Especially the up strong for Cat Dog. I guess. But I expect a, it's just going to be more confusing to use them. But the differences are not that great between the stands, right? But once you get used to the stands change, you're set. Personally, I'm not a fan of stands characters. Unless it's a JoJo game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, when it comes to stands. So I'll, 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 you know, I'll take it if I have to, but if not, I'm just gonna pass it. But he seems really strong. Cat dog, very strong. Patrick, dumb, which surprisingly makes sense. Is in canon. All right, Patrick Stark. Uh, Ren, Ren and Stimpy was slightly underwhelming. The gimmick is like, at least it hits everywhere. You just do a move and you're going to hit someone. Either behind you or above you, you're going to hit someone. Uh, because of the duality of the character. Uh, people was thinking that it probably will be a, a nice climber kind of deal. It wasn't. It turned out to be more like a dot hunt kind of deal. <laughs> if anything, we're going to be throwing logs at people. The fact that Cat Dog can just throw the boomerang and then hit it back. That is stupid. Right? It forces you to act on the boomerang. Because he throws the boomerang. And if you don't get hit, you don't do anything. The boomerang is going to come back to dog. And then dog can just hit it back at you. Faster. And stronger. So we have, uh, you know, boom, boomerang. Bonerang. Uh, <clears throat> uh, set play. And now when it comes to Patrick, Patrick's just stupid. <laughs> Patrick's just going to grab people and jump off the stage and kill himself. And hopefully he wins. Uh, that's going to be, that's, that's going to, mark my words. That's going to be the online of this game. You see a Patrick main, his goal in life is to grab you and toss you off stage. Whether he kills him or not. That's it. I can feel it. I, I I feel the personality of Patrick Maines already. Oh, I can I can feel it. I feel it. <laughs> anyway, uh, looking quite solid. Not gonna lie. Uh, very interesting. Did they announce anything else? <laughs> when you see a Patrick Maine. <coughs> Yes, yes, you just close the door on them. Like, don't deal with that. It just don't. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, man, best of future funk mix. Let me save up this one for later. Anyway, um, yeah, I think we saw everything. I didn't check. Oh, God, hold on. <laughs> I forgot. Um... Well, I didn't... Did we check Sandy? I think I did. Right? You guys remember if I checked Sandy out? I don't remember. Yeah? Alright. Okay, we, we, we checked Sandy out. Because I don't... I, I don't care that much about Sandy. Zero Suit Sandy. I think I made a joke about Zero Suit Sandy, right? Yeah. <clears throat> well, anyway. um, Yeah, Cat Dog is the one. Now we can. Now we gotta see who's gonna be the final character announced. I think there's one missing because we already know Cora and Aang is gonna be in it. 
And as you can see, Avatar is going to have three characters. Because there's three stages. And so far, every stage has a character. So we have the Air Temple for Aang. We have uh, Harmonic Convergence for Korra. And we got Omashu, which is Earth Kingdom. I'm just going to put out there, that is tough. I keep saying that, it's going to be tough. I really want to see how she's going to fight in the air. Is she going to be the little mag of the game? <laughs> how you doing, Dark? Yes. Poor, sad SpongeBob. Fa poor, poor Sponge. But, uh, yeah, I want to I wanna know. How will she play? And uh, for people that want Suko in the game, come on. You know they're going to sell you DLC. Everybody loves Suko. That's why I'm going to sell it to you. <laughs> That's good to hear, man. All right. Anyway, let's move on with our lives. I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking, dude. All right. Hold on. Give me a second. I'll be right back. I heard people upstairs, meaning my family has returned home. I want to see if I can medicate my cat. So while I do that, watch this video real quick. I'm going to play a short one. Uh. 